much as my hair. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to this week's edition of Get Seen, Be Heard. I am Christina Daves of PR for Anyone with my co-host, Karen Yankovic of Uplevel Media. And we and she's in Florida. We're freezing here up in like further north on the East Coast. Um, but we come to you every week kind of talking about PR and social media and we bring on guests to help you get seen and be heard much faster than if you just kind of did one or the other. So hello everyone. Welcome Karen. Hey everyone. Good to be here. Good to see you here Sandra. Thanks for being with us today. I know we Sandra's so fun. She comes on as our guest regularly so we're gonna have a lot of fun with her today. Uh, Karen and I like to start the show kind of talking about you know, what's going on in our industry? What can you guys pick up on and do? And every week is easy for me because the election is just, it's just open game here. I mean, it's crazy. Like you're like Saturday Night Live. Like your business is like Saturday Night really, Live. When there's an election season. Exactly. You just got an endless supply of content. Endless supply. But one thing that, that I saw that they did on the news, which I thought was really cool, and it's really just reinforces what I talk about, you know, this art of the hook and, and knowing, you know, who's, you know, knowing what media outlet you want to be in and how to pitch them. They were talking about Donald Trump's usage of a certain word the other night. And they took like 15 different media outlets and how they did their headline. And you could tell if they were Republican or Democratic and, you know, was it good? Was it bad? Did they use the word? Did they? So it's so I just learned a lot from that. How And they were saying, you know, everyone's fighting for readership. So you've got to have that appealing headline to get your readers to read your article over somebody else's. So I thought that was interesting. Interesting. Yeah. yeah he that, said, that is really interesting. He uses the word huge all the time, right? Yeah. Huge. It's going to be huge. Yeah. That would be better than the other word yeah. he used. <laughs> Just yeah. saying. So yeah. how about you, Karen? Well, I figured because we have Sandra, and we're going to introduce Sandra more formally in a minute. Um, yeah. But I think because we had since we had Sandra here, I want to talk about Snapchat a little bit because, you know, I don't know about you, Sandra, but I think in the last month or two, I've seen this absolute resurgence of Snapchat. All of a sudden, it's kind of exploding. Exploding. So I mean, are you guys hearing me? A little bit. I hear an echo, but let me put my earphones in. Yeah, I'm hearing yeah, like a massive, massive, like echo. massive echo. Like, like Groundhog Day. Every time I say gets repeated. Oh, yeah, you're still echoing. I have a headset on. I could take it off. Wait, now I'm not repeating. Oh, you hear me now? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. Is it okay, so. So Snapchat, I've had Snapchat forever, and I think I jumped on a blab like over the summer. So say six, seven, eight months ago. People talking about Snapchat and they're like, do you use it? I'm like, I use it, but I Snapchat pictures of my dog to my daughter, you know? Um, I don't really use it for my business yet, but lately I have been um, really kind of trying to create Snap stories, and really trying to think about ways that I could incorporate Snapchat into my business. And I know Sandra is a big, is big, in, that, in fact, that's why she's here today. Because I did a story, I did a Snap story last week, the week before, where I said, you know, getting ready to do Get Seen, Be Heard, who wants to be a guest? She snapped me back and said, I'm a guest, you know? So, um, so, Sandra, what do you think? Like, how are you using it for your business? And I'd love you guys in the chat to, if, you know, let me know, like, give us a thumbs up if you're using Snapchat. Um, I'd love to talk a little bit about what, how you're using it. Oh, my gosh. So, Snapchat I've used for three weeks. Oh. And <laughs> it has changed my business, um, it's it's upped and, and, and amplified the way that I tell my story and all the other social platforms. And it's perfect for me because I want to be seen and get heard, exactly what your title is. And you know what? If I can tell my story and make an instant connection, like, bam, exactly what Karen said. She posted a Snapchat. Bam. I saw it. She asked for a guess. Bam. I responded. Now, the key is the respond because how many people saw yeah. Karen's ask or call to action or invitation and didn't respond? Well, I did right. because I want to get seen and be heard and I want to collaborate with you girls. So it's an instant connection. It's a way to bring someone right into your home. Blab is, of course, my number one favorite thing and it probably always will be. But Snapchat and Blab, I'm telling you, they're like hand, they're hand in hand, like the cousins, right? 
Um, and I don't know if you followed me, Karen, or if you opened up all my, you might've been too busy on the beach drinking martinis. I do. I do, I do open up your socks. I do open up your socks. I know. So every day, day, a picture from the TV, you reply back like, really? That's where you're working from now? Yeah. No, I was rubbing it in. So every day I tell a story it's and it's this. a different story. You know what? My strategy is to be seen and get heard. I'm going to keep telling people your title because it's brilliant. Someone is going to see something that I do and they're going to tell me and they're going to engage. So for instance, um, just over the past couple of days, I have no idea what it was that I put out there. I can't think of anything specific, but someone snapped me back. You made my day. Oh. My day sucked and you made me laugh. So little things that they sprinkle back to me and that inspires me more to keep doing what I'm doing because I am being heard. I know that I'm being seen because I see that 50 people open it or 100 people open it, but I don't know that I'm being heard until they respond. That's the secret ingredient, people. So if you're on Snapchat and you're telling your story, it's all great. But when someone snaps back to you and engages, now you're heard and you're touching another That's life. Nice. And I say it all the time. You never know how or when you might touch another life. So someone was having a shitty day yesterday. Um, it was a woman that I follow. She has three kids and she was going crazy. And I don't know what I did or said. Something made her laugh and she snapped back and she just told me. So I was heard and I touched someone. And so that's just one instance. But there are other instances, you know, like um, even bringing your business in in a non-icky way and selling or promoting something. And I've pulled, I have pulled that off in the past three weeks. I actually gave people a call to action to look at my link yesterday for my NBC 30 um, uh, event that I was at. I was promoting Valentine's Day and how Say It Forward cards is a way to express your love. And so I pointed, Karen, I don't know if you saw it, I pointed to the link and I said, first I took a snap of me on video on, at, the, at the station, right? I just filmed my computer. Then my next snap, strategic, hey, I hope you're curious. Do you want to find out more? Click on this link, right? Because I saw other people do it and I was curious. So they clicked on the link. They yeah. watched the story. Then I go and check my email. They bought my cards. I didn't even ask them to buy my cards. I said That's nothing so about cool. them. So, so cool. I, that was, I could go on and on with snap stories, but yeah. that is really, yeah. I'm it's really, I'm really getting a kick out of it. What's that? But we're going to talk about that. I'm really getting a kick out of it. I really am. And I want to, I want to, you know, I want to figure out more like how, you know, like the get seen and be heard is all good if you can, if people can find you. Snapchat doesn't make it easy for people to find you. So you've really got to put some strategy around how do you get yourself out there to grow that, grow your followers on Snapchat. Um, but anyway, let's introduce Sandra quickly because we've gotten yes. right into this. So let me just oh, kind yeah. of quickly introduce yeah. Sandra. Um, Sandra Santorino. Uh, Sandra, we met on this blast months ago, I guess, and um, just have really, you know, I've loved some of the things she's done. I um, was kind of hoping to jump into some of the projects she has have been doing, but I haven't had a chance to do that yet, but I will. Um, Sandra, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about you and what you're yeah. doing and what your mission is? Sure. So I, um, I call myself a social entrepreneur and um, a, a public speaker, a motivational speaker, an inspirational expert. And um, I specialize in causing positive disruption. So that's why we're a perfect mix today, ladies. Because to be seen and get heard, you've got to shake things up because everyone looks the damn same on Facebook. I'm sorry, but it takes like three seconds to scroll in the morning. And if something doesn't stick out at me, I'm not going to even look at it. We have an eight second attention span, right? I was just told. So if it doesn't stick out, and 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 come come alive at me. I'm not going to click on it. I'm not going to watch your video. I don't even care what you do. Well, I really do, but I'm not going to spend any more time looking at it on Facebook. So, I love to cause positive disruptions myself in my own business. I do it. I've been successful at it, and I now like to teach others to do it because they're kind of stuck. You know, they're thinking they're doing okay. They might be into like I have five thousand likes on this, and you know, and and people tell me they like things and. And they just kind of stop because they don't know what to do. And I love to teach people to engage and play and have fun. So I call my thing now, I have a new thing. It's a Facebook group. Positivity Playground is what I call it because oh, I want to okay. make a community. I want to make it a community, a place where people can come in and not one person is just hanging on the swings by themselves. They're all kind of going like, ooh, 
tag, you're it. Come follow me. I want to show you what I do. And so it's been a place that I've just been building up over the past like couple of weeks, actually. I had the Facebook group. I wasn't doing anything about it. I want to help people be seen and, and get get be seen and be heard. Am I saying get, it right? Get and seen, be heard. Yeah, <laughs> get seen. Plan. Yeah, and I love to just help people in their businesses do that and give them fun ideas on how to create things that get noticed and make connections. That's the key. So Snapchat, you asked. I love that, Sandra. Yeah, like how do you connect to people? And shout outs is a big thing. Like on Facebook, we all do it, right, ladies? Like I shout out Karen a lot. Like she's a great LinkedIn person. You know, you guys should check out her page. But on Snapchat, when you shout someone and you put their name onto you, Someone is instantly curious and they go to Karen's LinkedIn page and finding more because I just endorsed her. So if they trust me and they like right. me and I'm saying, go check out Karen. She knows LinkedIn. And if you're having troubles, you know, she's helped me. Bingo. Instant connection. So now you're bringing that lady, that curious person into your playground. You just gave her a great tip to go work with your friend. So you're helping your friend out and you're kind of building your own community and trust and people are going to keep following you and they like what you do and like what you say. So um, hopefully that answers the question. What I, it, it does. And what I love about you and I, you know, my friends, every one of them call me Pollyanna. They just think like, I'm like, oh God, here comes Pollyanna. Like they're bitching. I'm like, come on, maybe she's pregnant and on her way to the hospital or we can count the number of cars that cut us off or we can count the number of cars that cut us in. That's a choice. Oh, you know? right. so, so they, you know, they all think I'm Pollyanna, but I got to tell you, from my business perspective, and I'm not, I'm not going to call out any one LinkedIn person, or I'm not going to. But there's a lot of LinkedIn people that bitch about LinkedIn all the time, and I don't get it. I don't get it. I mean, yes, it's not a perfect platform. No platform is perfect. But to me, no. you know, you change the way we use groups. Cool. I'm going to find the positive in that. I'm going to find the best way to use group. Not complain about what we can't do anymore. You know. So it's an interesting, you know, it's a, it's a choice to approach your business from a positive aspect as opposed to from a complaining and negative aspect i think and you definitely well, I think you get back what you give out oh, if you're sending yeah. out all this negative energy guess what you're going to get back all the negative people are just going to feed on that and that's why yeah i try to just always have that glass be half full <laughs> but then you get who the, your live, who the heck wants to live with a glass that's empty you know like right. I, I don't especially a wine it. one <laughs> <laughs> I think you have a great point. And I like, Karen, how you said people are bitching and moaning about LinkedIn and you want to take the positive road. I love that whole thing. But I think on Snapchat, more than any of the other platforms, you can come out and make yourself vulnerable just to kind of show people like, I'm not the LinkedIn expert and I don't do everything perfect, but I have a shitty day. And here's what I want oh, to yes. run by you. And show people that side of you so they kind of get to know you more and then trust you and then say, I want to come and check out our LinkedIn stuff too. Right. So that's kind of the fun right. of that part of it is that they can see that. So like today, that's for instance, on yeah. my, today, for instance, on my Snapchat, I said, I start with an intention every day. That's sort of my theme. And then I do this thing called an emoji show. I don't even want to explain it. You're going to have to follow me to get that. Um, but with this intention, because I have this intention tracker that I give away and I always want to start out positive, right? So I started today with an intention that I think surprised some people according to their snaps they did. I said, I am going to let go of doubt. And then my couple, couple of snaps after that were like, just because I'm positive all the time doesn't mean I doubt myself. You know, I have a lot of doubt right now over this project that I took on. So a couple of... And I think people reacted to that like, God, you're all upbeat and everything. And now you're sharing something that you're having a problem with. And they're helping me. They're jumping on going right. like, you can handle that. No problem. So it's pretty cool. So they definitely hear you. They see you. And they connect. That's really the key to any, anything yeah. that I'm doing. I love that. I love that. And you're right. It's not really about, but I don't think positive or negative. It has, I think doubt and, I mean, I really don't like this term, but it really is the term. Like a little vulnerability. Um, yeah. I think if that is different than positive negative, right? You can have a little doubt and you can have like yeah. a, like, oh my gosh, I just did this and it sucks. Sometimes it just sucks. And that's not being negative. That's just the reality of the situation. Yeah. I, you know, I did a lot. I got three people. I wanted 300, you know, I mean, I got it. But you can either say, I've got three people. I wanted 300. I'm throwing it out. Or I've got three people. I wanted 300. I got to figure, I got to figure it out. I got to figure it out. Cause I know right. that I can get. Why didn't I get 300? Right. 
Right. Yeah, definitely. Right. And it's not, it's, I like that. It's not always about the numbers either. I was so obsessed with like, I have to have numbers and I have to have crowds of people. You, you, if you're seen and heard with one person and you make one, a difference in one, one day, because yeah. you know what? They're going to tell people that's been happening to me yeah. over the past month. Like since Snapchat yeah. and I've been rebranding and everything, they tell people. So you might not be selling or helping them, but now they're going, oh, I just heard her do this or say this. Right. You should definitely connect to her. So, that's really the power of what we're doing online and how we, if we do it in a right way, we're going to bring other people in and the, the crowd is definitely going to grow. So. Right. Yeah. Somebody right. Wrote, wrote in the chat that said you were heard on Monday, in the UK, Sandra, I didn't even have to have a computer on. <laughs> so oh, yeah, he's, just, he's a wise ass. Don't listen to anything he says. <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> well, to me, we're like, you know, for me, where Blab is concerned, I actually just talked to somebody yesterday. I did some strategy with one of my clients yesterday. We talked about them using Blab as a platform. And I said, I don't care if there's nobody on it. Because when you create the Blab and you've got some good stuff on it, it's now content that you can now share content. on YouTube, on here and on there. So don't worry about how many people are seeing it now. It's about building the library and building your business and finding ways to kind of take this content and putting it in front of the right eyes when the time is right. Yep. I definitely like that. And I've been repurposing the Snapchats too. People are like, how do you do, how do, you do that? So how do, you, how do you do that? Wow. So I save random clips. Like if I do a video that I like and it's 10 seconds, I save it to my camera roll and then put it on Instagram. And then I have a whole new playground in Instagram going, this is cool. And then on Instagram, I'll say, oh, follow me on Snapchat. I'm say it forward on Snapchat. Right. So all the Instagram people are coming over. Or I, I might follow you on Instagram. You're not? I'm Instagram. You I don't think so. I have two. I have okay. Say It Forward and I have Inspirational Experts. So then, and also before a blab, you can snap, hey, I'm going on a blab. This is the title of it. Come find me. And that's work too. So just right. kind of fooling around with different places. Um, because right. if you're heard on that's one why, place, and that's what I teach people in social media. Use the platforms to leverage off of each other and to let your audience find you, whatever whatever yeah. medium they most connect with. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Um, but you guys bring up a good point. You're sharing stuff across them because I, I know, you know, when I speak to CEOs and they, they're they like, we can't do all the platforms. So I always say, you know, pick the two where your customers are and really do those well. But what you guys are saying, too, is helpful that you can just kind of regurgitate the same thing. If you're not good on every platform, yep. just just copy it. Yep. And right. you know and what, too? That every time you have content, that's building your library. Whether you use it oh, again yeah. or not, don't right. get rid of it. Every time you create an image, right. every time you do anything, it's a, you know, save it in a, in a Dropbox folder, wherever. Save it somewhere because that's building your content library. And it has nothing to do with how many people have seen it. It's about having great, great, great content. Definitely. And you know what, too, for bloggers out there, people that need inspiration for blogging, because I do, I'm, I usually wait until the last minute. My daughter's like, you haven't blogged yet? I'm like, and my mind's just blank. But um, some of the snap stories turn into blog ideas. I'm like, that would be kind oh, of interesting. Fun. So you don't know. It could just be right. It could right. off into a story. And eventually it will turn into a sitcom. You might be seeing me on NBC, CBS. No. <laughs> We're totally going to help you out with that, Sandra. You're definitely yeah. going to be there. I know it. Oh, me too. So, I get my own talk show. <laughs> yeah. I have one in my pocket. It's called my phone, right? Yeah. Yeah. So my well, this is our talk show, right? This is our talk show. I love this. Hey. My love neighbors think I'm crazy. For that very Napping now, and my neighbors are like, they'll walk by. Yesterday, I was coming out of church with my ashes on, and I noticed that I had um my emoji headband on. I don't usually wear that one out of the house. And I'm like, oh god. So I'm like going like this. Come People are just watching. I'm like, I don't care. Who cares, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's funny. My daughter is um the same age as your daughter, Sandra. That she's 22 and she's yeah. in college. And her friends and her are always joking that they want me to help them promote a new business and they're going to open a cocoa bar in, you know, bumfuck Pennsylvania, wherever they go to school. And, and I'm going to help them. I'm like, I'm certainly, you know, you, you are on your own with that. I'm not, you know, like you're not opening a cocoa bar anywhere. So one of her friends started like, they think it's cool that I'm on Snapchat. I think it's funny that I'm on Snapchat. I don't know that they think I'm cool, but they think I'm funny that, that Kate's mom is on Snapchat. So when her one friend snapped, you know, connected with me, I, I added to my snap story. I was talking about, 
um, I was talking about these schools. I was talking about you should watch these videos, blah, blah, blah. So then I go, and even if your dream, maybe you heard of this, even if your dream is to open a hookah bar in some godforsaken place in Pennsylvania, you know, you still need to learn this. So like, I didn't say anything to them at like 10, 11 o'clock at night, all of a sudden my text messages are banging on my phone. Like one of her friends might have saw, must have seen it and then told her other friend and then they're texting her going, did you see what your mother snapped today? <laughs> funny. But I'm like, listen, it's, it's for real. You want to, you want to open a business. I'm happy to help you, but start watching these videos, start learning about marketing. You know, it's not, you're not dumping it in my lap. I'll help you, but you know, start learning. So it was yeah. very funny that I kind of, you, you but don't want to be the manager of platform. a hookah bar. No, I don't. Um, I definitely don't. And I was like, yeah, listen, I'll help you, but you know, you want to open a business, start learning about business, you know? Yeah. That's funny. That's cool though. You're inspiring them. That's cool. I would love to talk to them, send them to the positivity playground. I would love to, hang out with them for sure uh, the other day <laughs> I let my daughter's, you can see my daughter's hat that said 1994 no. she's 22 she has a hat that says 1994 and so she wasn't home she saw it though i put it on and i go i talk to my dog and my snaps people think i'm insane but i'm like scooty do you think they'll believe i'm 22 if i wear this and then under it, I put 22 is the new 54. And my daughter's like, weren't you supposed to say 54 is the new 22? I'm like, they get it. They get it. But, uh, I'm 54. But I, they get it. Yeah. <laughs> funny because my daughter so, Alice, so always said, like, you stole my Facebook. You stole my Instagram. Now you're stealing my Snapchat. Okay. All her friends that follow me. I'm like, I don't really care. Call me a thief. But I'm doing Snapchat, baby. And I don't really. You know what? I got to tell you something. Sandra, I really think that it's awesome that you're doing it. I mean, so Lynn is saying she's 65 using Snapchat and her son loves it. I think I truly, and I'm not doing this to be an inspiration to my kids. Most for the most part, my kids ignore what I'm doing and they're like the <laughs> blinders on. But I think that there's a part of them that like, you know, listen, I, my, and we did this from nothing, right? I didn't go to, I didn't come out of college and say, okay, I have a marketing degree and now I'm going to do this. Now, I mean, I just figured it out, you know? So I think that there's something to be said for them learning, go to college and get that degree, but then, you know, you got to jump in and figure it out if you want to be successful. And I think there's a lot of lessons in them watching what we're doing. I do. I think there's a lot of lessons. Definitely. I love, um, I love any age. And the thing that I love about anyone, as soon as they're curious, I want, like, I want to get my hands right on you and just like grab you yes. because yes. curious is the first step. And I think if all of us were curious, our businesses and our lives would be that much better because right. it's boring. It, I always right. say it's fun not to be ordinary because today ordinary isn't good enough. So exactly. why do you, you want to be out. happy? To be extraordinary. Yeah. Why do you want to be happy with ordinary when you can stand out and be seen, get seen and be heard? I got to get that mm -hmm. tagline. Um, Absolutely. So that's really that's that's my whole thing, you know. And Lynn's son, well, you know, I'll put a plug. In. Lynn's son is Tristan, and um, he is a huge Snapchatter. You guys should follow him. Lynn, throw his um, throw his and Lynn is on Snapchat. Throw um, Tristan and Lynn's uh, Snap you URL guys name. All, we all put our Snapchat names in, in the. Uh, do you have a, We don't have a URL, right? We have to just search our name. You can so do a URL. You could do a URL or you could do a, my, mine is my code. There's my code. And okay. I'm saying it forward. Yeah, I'm Karen mm -hmm. Yang. Cool. Very cool. Well, you know, Sandra, you inspired me. I don't even think I told you this, Christina. Um, when, when Christina and I have a couple of dates where she can't make it or I can't make it for the show, so this is my daughter. I'm like, you should be my co-host. So she replied back to me and said, all I charge is $500 a show. So I replied back to her and said, <laughs> I will deduct that from the $3,985,212 that I'm in the hole for you. And, you know, yeah. we'll deduct it from that, 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 you know, that tab that you've got running. Yeah. Yeah, my daughter co-hosted me. Remember, you popped in. I know, I saw that. That's what I said. You should be the co-host when Christina can't be around. And uh, yeah. yeah, that was the answer. Call 500 me. bucks. I'm happy to do it. Call me, maybe. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. I had Allie co -host. Well, I had Allie co-host that day. She was off from school and off from work, which is really never happening. Mm -hmm. But you connected me to this wonderful Alex Young, who's a communications guy. And I said to Allie, yeah. not for nothing, but I think you should co-host because the guy that I'm interviewing might like you and he might be a great connection or someone to follow and so she, i didn't even have to twist her arm pay her bribe or anything she's like okay at the end of that show three people inbox me that they wanted to hire her i'm like oh wow. i need a commission yeah, you will want two other people inbox me yeah I was and then alex, 
Alex is in touch now. I sent Alex a little bird. Remember I told him I was going to send him a bird. And um, he said he's going to be using my bird in some upcoming thing that he's doing. So I'm like, wow, my bird is going to be oh, famous. He's great. Alex is great. <laughs> he's great. He's great. Alex is great. Well, I, right, I, I stopped for breath. Just saying. Yeah. What, where are All we? right, you Sandra, your friend on? Lynn's looking to come in. That's her friend, right? Let's bring her in. Yeah. Snap. Chat. Equals. Susie's here too. Susie, if you're still here, brush your hair, put on some lip gloss. I want you to come in for a little bit too. <laughs> hey, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Hello. Welcome. Can you hear me? Yeah. Nice to see you. I'm following Lynn. I'm following Lynn and her son on Snapchat. You're following me, Lynn. Lynn, right too? Yeah, we're following each other, aren't we? I think you commented on one of my snaps the other day too. I think I did. Yes. <laughs> The only My thing I don't like, the only thing I don't like about Snapchat is when someone comments back and they engage, it disappears. So like I can't remember what I ate for dinner yesterday. I'm not gonna yeah. remember what I see. <laughs> so you are you, know, right you right now, Lynn. Tell, tell, I'm you right now. You, what's the tip? If you press on Yeah, if you press on the comment when somebody's yeah. coming. Oh save. Through, yeah, save it. Yeah, okay. I know. Ah. I, <laughs> I got to remember that though. Yep, I got to remember that. So, this is my I'll hold mine up for you to see what it looks like. So, tell me, guys, are you using Snapchat for business or you're building a personal brand on Snapchat? I have to say, it's a little both, uh, Christina. It's about yeah. it's you, right? It's you. It's not like it's for necessarily your business, but I try to. You know, in a way that is not more salesy and marketing, talk a little, like I'll talk about the show, like we're getting ready to go live or get seen, be heard and watching. Or okay. um, sometimes I get a little like, like one time I said silly things like I'm restarting my computer because every time I go live on video, my rule is I always restart my computer. Like silly <laughs> things like that to incorporate some business tips into it. So, yeah. Okay. But then I also did like, I did a video. I don't know if you saw it. Yes. When I flew into Florida, like it was just sunny. So I did a video of literally an airplane with the clouds in the sky and, you know, did that. And you do other things like that. You too. do so cards cool. every day. I love how you do, I do Susie's use cards every, every day. day. Yeah, Susie, if you're still here. I do Susie's cards every day. I think she's gone. But if you're still here, I do your, oh, I do a paper card every day um, on Snapchat. I love it. That's awesome. Yep. See, so you're known for the cards. You start your right. day every day with cards, so that's cool. Yep. Yeah. And you know what I did too, Susie, to talk about, but now this isn't really making me money, but it's supporting each other, right? Susie, I love Susie, and I love, I would love her cards to be massively successful. So I created a, um, a, a um, pretty link on my website to her Amazon page. So if you go to yes. KarenYankovich.com oh. slash feel the love, um, so I put that URL on occasionally I'll put that when I pull a card, I'll put that URL. Do you like these cards? You know, just go to this link and grab yourself a card. So great idea. You yeah, know, it can make eight cents. It. So it's not like it's not my really a business thing, but it's more of a supporting each other. Yeah, and, right. Yeah. yeah. So Lynn, what do you do? You? What do I, I'm building engagement. Um, and my son, Tristan, is my business partner. He's just landed a huge social media contract this week with Snapchat. Ooh, so all those really? All those Congratulations. Who said it was for, yeah, it's brilliant. All those who said it was for, um, you know, youngsters and all that, he thinks it's hilarious because at 65, I'm teaching the 23-year-olds. <laughs> awesome. And, and here, here where I live, live on the Isle of Wight we um, I run a network group well I started the network group and then we combined forces to make it global but you know I'm still on the Isle of Wight doing the networking and and whatever mm -hmm. and actually teaching a lot of my members because um, they knew nothing about they didn't knew nothing about Snapchat so we brought we've we've dragged them kicking and screaming <laughs> awesome and um, and it's amazing so I was Snapchatting making soup today as part of it. And then I've been um, sna I've been twi hopping between Twitter and Snapchat because I don't have a car. And I was on the way home and realized that um, Twitter Smarter, I don't know if any of you engage with Twitter Smarter, do you? I realized mm -hmm. that it was, 
that, that's brilliant if you're on Twitter. I, I get, I've, I've got quite a, new fo- a few new followers tonight by being on it. But I thought it was at 7 o'clock UK time. And I was on the bus and I just checked it. And it was 6 o'clock UK time. So I had to join in with it while I was on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> and then walk- then walking up the road, but it was, it, you know, it was pretty good. And then, of course, I'm sna- I'm hopping between Snapchat and that as well. <laughs> oh, gosh, that's funny. Wow. Awesome. Well, my mom's in here, and she's 82. Uh, she doesn't teach anyone social media, but, God, to be 82 and be on Facebook, Twitter, and, and um, yeah. Blab, pretty darn good. Now, she, she gets that's confused great. with LinkedIn. Karen, maybe you can talk to her, but she's like, someone added me for LinkedIn. She calls yeah, it liked sure in. She does. I'm pretty sure, Mom. I'm pretty sure you need LinkedIn. No need. Yeah, I says, yeah, Mom. Why not? Tired. You don't need LinkedIn. She calls it liked yeah. in, I think. Like like something. Someone added me the like thing, and I'm right. like, oh my gosh, what a okay. lie. <laughs> she's not teaching. You know, Sandra, my, my, my great aunt is 91, and she is all over social media. And she did the same thing. She goes, what do I need to do on LinkedIn? I'm like, you don't need to do a damn thing on LinkedIn. No, no, but she's great. She's, you know, she ta- we were at, we're all down. My whole family's down in Florida now. And we all got a text message from her from New Jersey the other day, like a group text from my 91 year old aunt saying, you know, you it all left me up here to get the hell on the plane and come back to New Jersey yes. and come sit here with me. You know, I mean, she's awesome. Christina, we got to get her like on camera somewhere at some point. Yeah. She's hilarious. She sounds she's awesome. So smart. She's all over social media. Yeah. She, she always says, Christina, Christina Co-host. She always says, and from the day that I met her, from my, when the, I'm 55, so for 55 <laughs> years, she's been telling me she's going to be discovered tomorrow. Like, she's been waiting to be discovered from the day she, from the day I was born, you know? So uh, Let's I get her discover, discovered. Her. I yeah, like this. No, we're going to work on that. How, how many 91-year-old people do you think are on social media? We've got a good little hook here for her. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she, she FaceTimes. Like, if I, I get FaceTime her right now and say, we're talking about you, and Vicky, come on in, uh, you know. It's hilarious. That's I, awesome. I think Vicky should be the oldest Snapchatter in history. If she can hook her up, that would be cool. I don't know that I want to get her on another platform. I'm just happy she's on, you know, Facebook and Snap and, and FaceTime. She's hilarious. So I would, love to put out, I would love to put out to the audience, ladies, at this point, if anyone wants to jump in or comment, I would love to challenge you to come up with something you're having a problem in that you need to cause a positive disruption with. Maybe I can help come up with an answer or one of us could in these, uh, these little squares. Is anyone having trouble causing disruptions? I don't know. Don't listen to Robert though. He's just, he's ta- He's going to be talking trash, kidding around. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We to, we've got, if, so we've got if we're, Elena and Terry, we've got Ro- well, Robert. Robert's talking trash. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> we're ignoring him. Yeah, he's talking Sarah. Trash. We've got a lot of cool people here. Kenneth, anybody have anything? I can hop out if you want somebody else to come in. Would you like me to? Yeah, so well, yeah, we'll have to do that yeah, to open that up. That'd be great, Lynn. It was nice to meet you. Yeah, Hi, Lynn. I'm going to follow you on Snapchat as I get off this. Yeah. Good work. All right. Does anyone else want to pop in and ask me a question or have any comments on how to make or cause positive disruptions? I get all kinds of things up my sleeve that I could share. Yeah. See? Look, they're all right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> do, you, do you sell those emoji things that you created, those props? You should, by um, the way, but do you sell them? Oh, what, like this? Like this? Yeah, yeah. Um, someone That's- asked me last week if I would put them on my website for sale. First of all, I have to make them because I have all the crafts. They're like right over right. here. Um, so I could put them together. I could probably put them up. It might be fun. But um. Yeah, it's funny because a couple of people have asked me that now. I'm like, yeah, now I'm going to be in the crafting business. I'm going to have to like. I have like zero, right? I have zero crafting talent. So I just want to go on your website yeah, and neither. buy like a LinkedIn one and a Twitter one and, a, you know, I don't know, Snapchat one maybe. You, you might go into some Twitter trademark and... issues. Oh. What's that? Oh, I know because Twitter. Yeah, that's true. You sell them. But, yeah. you, you know, just yeah. using them because, of course, it's a little different, but. So. So we've got oh, Sarah here. That is, she's got in her first week of her new business. She's got no. You, Sarah, you want to jump in and chat with us? Um, so she decided. Whoops. So she decided to jump on the lab and see what y'all do. So come on in and talk to us, Sarah. Uh, um, Sarah is curious. Click this open seat. Yeah, click this open seat and uh, jump in if you if you're so inclined. Don't worry about you know. I was thinking about putting on your makeup and brushing your hair. You don't have to do that. 
Oh, yeah. before I forget, I have to um, remind you, because at 3.30, my mother and I are doing Blab shopping at a new time this week. It's going to be following the show, because we cannot do it at 7 oh, o'clock. Really? So, oh, anyone that wants Blab shopping is fun. Yeah, so, Blab shopping is all about coming in and telling a story about a product or a service you offer and selling it. So, you're going to tell us a story, oh. you're going to wow us, and then you're going to put a link in the side. So, after the show ends... Um, I'll put the link in. You can follow me over. And hopefully my mom will be able to get through. Last week she had internet troubles. But we've been doing it for 10 <laughs> weeks. We started the Friday after Thanksgiving. We called it um, Blab Friday. or Blab, Yeah, instead of Black Friday, we called it Love Blab it. Friday. And it's fun. So that's I like where I'm that. Yeah. Here she comes. Well, was that from the last yeah, it was a couple of weeks ago. It was a fun. It was a lot of, I learned about little products and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Sarah. Sarah is, that really, awesome. is that your really your last name? Yes. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Wow. So, so how do you pronounce it? <clears throat> Selva Ringa Raju. Wow, that could be a whole media post all in one. I'm know, sure you. you can here, these are all my my Indian in laws. <laughs> I love it. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. Welcome. How are you? I'm, I'm so well. Tell us about the business that you're you're in your first week of your new business. What's it all about? I'd love to hear. Um, actually, what happened was I started a weight loss thing about a year ago, and I started a weight loss fitness blog, and I did it and got a whole bunch of followers in it, um, but I learned all the social media stuff, <laughs> and then I was like, you know, I don't want to be a weight loss person because I don't want to be like, you know if I stop or if I gain weight and like people won't follow me, whatever, I just want to be like a person, you know? And so I started brainstorming, what am I going to do with all this information that I've learned? And so um, I decided to start um, like a social media assistance business, I guess. Um, assistance. For like, yeah. Like, like, for like mom and pop, like mom and pop businesses, um, you know, that around where I live, I live around Orlando <clears throat> and um there's a lot of businesses around here that have Facebook pages, but then people check into them, but they don't have anything on them. Like you go to their page and it's right. just blank, but they have a bunch of people that have checked in. I'm like, hello, put some stuff right. on your Facebook page. You know? And yeah. so I'm thinking, you know, I can, you know, either like go, I don't know what I'm going to do. Am I going to go like to those businesses and say, hey, I'm doing this you know, this service and I've already gone and liked all my, all my prospects that I'm looking at. I've gone and liked their Facebook pages and I'm commenting on things. If something does pop up, um, those kind of things. And so I'm like, I don't know what to do after that. I made a website. I've got my social media things. I've joined my, um, my um, blogging communities, you know, Facebook groups and, you know, they're helping get stuff going. But now I'm like, okay, now what do I do? How do I get out there? You know what I mean? <laughs> So you want to teach people how to engage in their business? Yeah, I, I just want to like I want to teach them how to have a social media presence for their small business because I think a lot of people think you know I am a dog walker or I am I own a coffee shop or I own you know you know whatever a bakery like do I need a social media presence or I don't have time to do that I don't know how to do that yeah the answer there is yes. <laughs> So you know, I teach yeah. people how to bring your words to life. That's what I'm all about. And so by causing positive disruptions and doing something a little bit out of the box, we'll get them noticed. And then that's the first step, right? Because if their Facebook page is just bland, you want to bring that to life. So what do you do to cause that? Maybe show up at the store and do like a, a an in-store um, display or you help them feature something. Um, and maybe connect the Facebook to some other social platform and ask them to do something like, hey, like our Facebook page, try our coffee, but then post a picture of yourself drinking the coffee with a quote next to it or something like that. So you can kind of get things like people want to hear it and they want to see it and they want to see it come to life other than, oh, it's just a coffee shop. So right. maybe come up with some kind of um, idea on how to bring people in and then get them to do something so other people see it and they tell people. Right, ladies? Does that sound good? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. You know, and so that's pretty much that's my business is what I know I do is what you're looking to do. And what I find works really well, and you've got to kind of find where that niche is for you. But I find, I find number one, they're overwhelmed with social media. So 
for me, yes. I like to cut it to one platform. And I used to do like VIP days and we'll do your whole strategy and it, it's too much in one day. So now I do shorter sessions, 90 minute sessions. Let's pick one platform and let's talk through how you how this can work for you. And then if it's Facebook, you know, you you need to commit to two posts a day, let's say, two or three posts a day. So what are those posts going to look like? How do you create that? So you can really sell them like a, you know, like a 90 minute session or maybe with some follow up or however you want to position yourself. But I but I would encourage you to to position yourself as taking out the overwhelm because they're already so freaking busy. They don't understand that this is, you know, especially for small business owners, they that people are like worried about sales. They're, they're wigged out about sales. So what, what social media is, it's inbound marketing, right? It's about teaching people to call you. And the only, and the way to do that is to make sure that you're continually in, your name is continually in front of them. And that's a really easy thing to do if you've got a strategy, but most people don't have a strategy. And then they say, well, Facebook doesn't work, right? So to have a strategy and to inject some fun in it, like, you know, like Sandra's saying, by just coming to them, even with just that, I think that that's going to be a huge help, especially if you position yourself as, you know, the locals person. Like I walked into, and here's what I would, you might want to consider. I walked into my local chamber of commerce a couple of years ago and I like, I did social media and every single person wanted to talk to me because they're used to networking in person, right? There wasn't anybody in there that was teaching them how to market online. So by joining your local chamber of commerce, which probably costs a hundred bucks, you know, um, you can position yourself as the person that can help them with this with this part of the market. Yep, I like that. Okay. And so I think um, and I think too, try to connect with try to connect with as many people as you can before you go in and actually try to sell these other people and help them. If that takes doing it for free or having a blab, and I was just going to say that you want to yeah, get people to start. Going, oh, she's the one you want to talk to. Yeah, she's the one. Yes. Then. Now you'll have like a reputation, right? Right, guys? Right. Yep. Yeah. Why don't you I'm offer to help one or two awesome. businesses at, at no charge? Yeah, my, that was I'm awesome. sorry, Karen. I think we're on a delay. Yeah, that was my husband's plan is he told me to get like three actually he said three or four and do like do what I want to do like for them, come in and say, Can I do this for you for free? Yeah. And you know, and then if you like it, tell you know, tell your fellow business people, entrepreneurs, you know, whatever group you're in or whatever, like tell people about it. Hey, this girl, she did this stuff to me, this business, it's awesome. You know, and right. like put that on my website as like, these are the projects that I've completed. Yes. Like, yeah. you know, and just do it like, for free, like, and like pick one or two like different kinds of businesses, like and yeah. a mechanic shop and a bakery and like that kind of Yeah. And I would, you know, I would sure, you just, it's just, it's just building right. testimonials. Right. And if you join the, like, say the Chamber of Commerce and you say, well, I can help you with this, right? Maybe if, they're, if they have a crappy social media presence and most of them do, all of a sudden you look like a genius and now everybody wants to talk to you because they're like, well, who's doing this good job? And that's exactly what I'm doing with a, a regional Chamber of Commerce in my house. I'm really, I'm, I'm, I'm donating a ton of my time to helping them create this big social media training for the members because I want people to say, who did this? You know what I mean? And then hired me. So so you don't always have to think about the onesie twosies to volunteer. You can maybe volunteer for the organizations which can get your name in front of the big people. Okay, awesome. But definitely volunteering your time and do you know, maybe even the local if you've got I don't know if you've got kids or if you're in a local community, you know, joining like offering to do the social media for the local community you're in or for your kids' school or you know, any anything like that, like Think about places that you can do it and you're just doing it on a volunteer basis but oh by the way this is my business here's my business card and you know we i do free consultations okay the way um i've been using it i've been using my sandy uh spin on it right because uh we don't all do things in a certain way or the same way so i've been putting out where my people hang out the curious ones that i want as customers I've been just asking questions in a simple way and I put my own spin on it. Instead of saying, how can I help you? Cause that's just ordinary. I, I put a thing on my positive positivity playground last week and got a couple of client, clients. I just said, what do you suck at? What do you hate to do? <laughs> and I shared an experience. I suck at numbers. I do not want to look at a checkbook. I do not want to pay a bill. I do not want to even look at any kind of number thing. I'm not a numbers person. So I hire people to do that. And I hire, my husband does it. Thank God he pays our bills. So I want to know what they suck at. And putting it in those terms kind of puts it bluntly, right? Like, what do you absolutely hate? Well, you know what? 
you hate that, but I love that. Right. So I want to get to know you and I want to tell you how I can help your business because you don't want to do that. And, um, and they'll tell me, I have one client that goes, I suck at everything. Can I just hire you and take me home? And I'm like, no, I'm sorry. Um, we have she limits. Want, she wants nothing to do with social media at all. She can sell, she can do all these other things. And I'm like, I, I don't want to take on a client and do all this social media. That's not what I am. I'm a teacher and I want to inspire you to do your own. So she's out of luck, but she's funny. She's like, can you just do everything? And I'm like, no, <laughs> no, but I can, you can send them my way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yay. Awesome. Thank you, guys. I'm going to jump off with my daughter. Thank you. I was going to say, let her say hi. 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 What's her name? She's talking, she's talking to you guys, and I'm like, Shh. no, I'm that's okay. okay. Can you say hi. We're moms. Hi. 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 What's Bird. your name, honey? Nina. 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 How old are you? Four. Four. Are you going to help your mommy with her business? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds great. Good what does mommy do? What does mommy do? My, my mommy does all day. Is, is, she does business all the time. <laughs> Just, that's cute. But that's, that's good. Then you can learn how to do business when you grow up. Okay. Okay. She's all right, right. jump off. Somebody else jump on. Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you, Sarah. Good to meet you, Sarah. Bye. So Loud, so loud Radio has a question for us. I, if there was a platform where you can monetize from your live broadcast, would you join that platform? I, I already do monetize from my live bro live broadcast, so I'm not really sure I understand the question. Um, I think we all use these live broadcasting platforms to monetize our business eventually, right? So I, so, met, him, I met him yesterday at a, in a lab, and I was trying to give him some tips, actually. Yep. I wonder okay. if it's a paid platform. Uh, it's in development, so um, it, I think it's going to be – a live stream type thing that's in development, like a testing phase or something like that. I was chatting with him yesterday, actually. Tim, okay. I think his name was Tim. I don't. Know. Yeah. So I want to um, definitely invite people over in ten minutes to blab shopping. I might as well make my pitch now. I'm going to throw. If you guys don't mind, go. I'll throw my link in. <laughs> go ahead. Absolutely. Yeah, go ahead. I'll throw my link in, and um, I'm really about. Um, Positivity causing positive disruption. So if anyone wants to um, join Positivity Playground, I'll put that link in too. Definitely come over. It's a place just to have fun and make connections with each other and be inspired. Um, so every day it's something different. Um, it might be a little bit of Snapchat. And what I've also been doing, and I'd love to tell you about it, is um, I started this thing in Positivity Playground called the Lucky Seven, right? Because I like the number seven. I like the number three too. So I, I had this little contest slash whatever last week. And I said, would you guys like to learn about Snapchat? The first seven people that say I'm in, I will do a free training for 30 minutes, which turned into an hour and 15 minutes. Um, Monday, seven people within like 30 minutes signed up. So I had my first one and I'm probably going to do another one because it was actually people on a wait list. So I like to keep it small so we can all kind of meet each other and connect. So that will be what's going to be happening in Positivity Playground. Maybe I might even bring in LinkedIn people and PR people if they want to connect with people in the playground. Who knows what could happen? So so that's that's pretty much what we're doing. Um, so, Sandra, if we subscribe to this, will we know every time you do this? Or is that just this one? Oh, pos uh, the Blab Show? Yeah. Blab show? No, actually, that's a great question. If you go to blabshopping.com. Um, okay. Right started a website with my mom this is the uh, positivity playground group um so you can find out more about it and there's one every single week and what the website tells you to do is click on this link tell us what you want to offer or feature we just want to make sure there's not 10 people doing the same thing so they often right. so an email every week telling them that we're having another show this is the time and then there'll be a blab awesome. link. So, yeah so blabshopping.com is that right like that Labshopping.com. Yeah. Definitely. All right. That's great. That's cool. All right. Does anybody else want to come in and ask questions? This is the time to do it. I'm having hot yeah, flashes. Absolutely. absolutely. Some... I know. My house all of a sudden got really loud outside. So if I have to keep muting myself, oh. you can't hear. <laughs> I think my mom actually started vacuuming. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. oh my gosh.
Well, anyway, so we've got, actually, let me tell you a little bit about what we have going on next week. We've got Jennifer Johnson here next week. Um, and I'm going to put the link actually to, you guys should subscribe to this. Jennifer Johnson, I met her at a conference a couple of months ago in New Jersey, and she came up with this new social media posting tool. And, you know, me, I'm social media. So I'm like, okay, cool. I want to know about it. And I'm looking at it and I'm going, yeah, I don't get it. Like, yeah, I mean, I didn't tell her this, but I'm like, yeah, I don't get it. And then I had to make some changes in my business and I had to take on some of the work that I somebody doing and I started to use the tool and I absolutely fell in love with it. So basically here's a woman running a business and she's like bitching to her husband about that. She couldn't, she didn't like any of the social media tools that were out there. And so he created one for her and it is now oh one of my absolute favorite social media tools. Um, so I'm really looking forward to having her on next week because I'd love to hear she had to get coaxed a little bit. She's not as, She's not as comfortable getting seen as being heard as the three of us are, but um, she's got an, an unbelievable number of subscribers. I don't remember what the number is. I'll let her tell you guys next week, but she's got an unbelievable number of subscribers already in the year or two that the tool has been available. Um, so definitely subscribe to the show. I just put the link in. Subscribe to the show next week. Um, Sarah, if you're still listening, you totally want to jump in and you want to check out um, cinchshare.com. Actually, I will. Um, I think I is have that, a. Is that what it's called? That's what it's called, the social yep. media platform? Since share. Cool. Yep. Um, I'm let me just curious. I think I'm I have. Curious. Yeah. Well, I have. If you come back, I'm going to try to. I'm, tr I'm going to try to. I know I have a, a coupon for 30 free days. So, um, and I don't have it with me right now. Or I would share it with you guys. But, um. I'll bring. I'll make sure we have that next week, so you can you can check it out next week for the free thirty days. Um, and uh, yeah, it's really cool. So definitely subscribe and come back next week. Um, we're here every week. So if you guys know of anybody you think oh, would be a great guest for get seen and be heard, we'd love to hear from them. Yes, um, what definitely. Else? What else, Sandra? What else do you have going on? You oh, seem to know. always have some. Some sure. flash have, mob, something you're going to do. Yeah, I'm actually, no, what I'm going to start on Snapchat, Karen, is snap it forward. I'm going to have uh, people take yeah. over my snap story, and they're going to snap their quotes for the day or their inspiration, and we're going to spread it. Love it. With all the snappers. So I'm connecting to all these influential snappers now that are following me and vice versa that I'm connecting to offline. And um Probably within the next couple of weeks, we'll get it started and maybe connect to the people at Snapchat to have it as a live event. Because if you go onto Snapchat and you see some of the live events at the top, like they had one for Mardi Gras mm -hmm. and some other things, if Snap It Forward can be one of the live events, that would just be how it could grow and blow up on Snapchat, which I'm hoping. So right. a couple of other tips that I just definitely want to share. You can definitely check out Positivity Playground, like I said, blabshopping.com. Pick three words, people. In 2015, when we rebranded uh, Say It Forward and became Say It International, I just randomly came up with this thing called Power of Three. And I picked three words that describe me, which then in turn kind of was the foundation for my business and my life in general. So these three words, they came to me, they started developing in my life at a young age, but kind of came to life in my, in my 50s, unfortunately. Energetic, fun, and creative. So when you pick three words and put them into everything you do in life, including your business, stuff falls into place. Things happen. Connections happen. People hear you. People see you. They that. get it. Like amplified on fire. And so my tip to you would be to pick three words and just meditate on these three words. Write these three words down. Put them on a storyboard. Blab about them. Tweet them. Put them on your LinkedIn profile, whatever it takes. And after those three words get put into action with everything you're doing on social and in real life, it really kind of helps people find you and hear you. And the other thing is um, taking those you three words. You? Get seen and be heard? Yeah. It helps people and, uh, get you seen and heard? Yeah. And anything in, in addition to that, Trying a couple of just random things, and I'm going to give you three. I call it one note, one call, one video. And on Snapchat today, I did a thing, you know, why don't you call someone because someone needs to hear you. So taking those three words, putting them into everything you do, and then practicing these three things, one call, one note, and video. And what the hell is that? So every day or every other day or at least maybe every week, make one call to someone that you haven't heard from in a while and let them hear your voice, not a text, not an email, a call, 
and tell them that they inspired you or what they did to influence you. Um, one note, take out a pen, a piece of paper, a stamp, right? Again, not a text, not an email. And write to someone and say, you know what, Karen, I saw you in Blab and you've been such an inspiration and now I have a LinkedIn and you really touched me. Bam, throw it in the mail, send it to someone. And one video, and this is what I'm noticing on Snapchat, that a video, even 10 seconds, can change a life. So post a video, tag people in it, put something on your LinkedIn profile and say, you know what, I'm going to read my quote off and, and give some inspirational tip and I'm going to tag a few friends. Those three things combined with those three words will really make people see you, hear you, feel you, the whole thing, right? Because they're not going to remember what you did or what you said. It comes down to they're going to remember how you made them feel. And that really is yep, the yeah, so true. Point. Who said so, that? Is it Maya Angelou? Yes. Is yes. Maya Angelou that said that? Yeah, 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 yeah. People remember how, don't remember what you say. They remember how they make them feel. I love that. I love that. I love that, Sandra. And I, you know, I, I love that you're trying to be creative with these social media sites. It makes me, I've been trying to think about how I could do Snapchat to maybe do LinkedIn profile reviews or something. I don't know. I gotta, I've got to, I'm still trying to work out how I can make that happen. Um, I, like, I think it would be kind of why fun. Don't start with, why don't you start with, tell me what you do. Snap me back. Yeah. What's your time? Uh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Tell I me could do that. Or snap me. Yeah. Tell right. me what your title is, and I'm going to pick one. If I don't like your title, and I'm going to shout you out, and then I'm going to help you with a tip. Right, or snap me a screenshot of your um, of your headline. Perfect. You know, for um, some, for some feedback. Oh, actually, yeah, they could snap it, and they could no, they could snap it, and they can send it to you in a private in, in private uh, inbox. Right. Right. Yep. Right. Right. Because I hmm. think your magic would be to take their title and make it better, bring it to life, right? Because a lot of people right. have right. trouble right. with like, like I'm a VP, like I'm a VP of sales. Someone says, "Well, that's boring." Yeah. So when you meet Karen, <laughs> she's going to teach you how to bring that up and amplify it so people. Can. I would ask you. Right. I would ask them, like, "What's your title? Tell me who you are." Right. right. I think Maybe I'll make it like a day of the week or something. Maybe I'll make it like a day of the week. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I love, I gotta, I want to try to find more ways to use it more creatively though, for sure. And I love how creative you are on it. Yeah. yeah. Well, tell me three things. Tell me three things in your resume that you've done before even, because that might be kind of fun. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Or if you cool. could pick one, now you got me going. I can't stop. Right. <laughs> What's the one keyword on your LinkedIn on your LinkedIn profile that you use the most? Like, is it inspiration? Is it sales? Is it like, what's the one keyword that you keep repeating? Like, what's the one word or something like that? Right. Or what are the what words that people are that you want to come up with? Yeah, I like that. Ask them a question. Ask them a question yeah. and then and then put it out there. Say, I'm giving you a call to action. I'm the LinkedIn expert. You're going to have to snap me back and I'll be right back at you or whatever. I think right. you could do that right. sitting in the sand, drinking your drink, girl. Yeah. yeah. And if you, fly okay. me yeah. Florida, if you fly me to Florida, I'd be happy to sit with you. No, I'm only kidding. And consults right there. Yeah. You know, yeah. neighboring be well, beach chairs. Yeah. Beach chair consultants. I like that. I love there's a whole new business, yeah. ladies. CCC. Yeah, yep. right? you, you, me, my parents, my daughter, my niece, my aunt, my uncle. There's like, Did I just you know, say that? Beach yeah. chair <laughs> and say that funny. I like that beach chair consulting. Yeah. Maybe that's what I'm gonna slap on the beach. Yeah. There you go. I'm gonna on slap the on the beach. Oh, I'm gonna slap on the beach.com. Damn, yeah. I might have to buy that URL. I like that. Mom, I like that. <laughs> have a damn URL. All right, problem. well. Sandra, we know you, you're you going to hop right at 3.30, so you want to give one last quick I'm pitch hopping. to get everyone to come over there. And All right. You. So if you have something to sell, a product or a service, an ebook, a book, a course, lipstick, cards, <laughs> birds, <laughs> emojis, whatever it is, there's a story behind it, people, because we're going to bring your story to life so that selling is not icky anymore because no one likes to be sold to. It's a bunch of... When people sell to you like a car salesman, it's really shitty. <laughs> it's not a good feeling, right? Who wants to feel like a piece of poop being sold to? You want to be happy and uplifted <laughs> and feel really good about this person. So if you're interested in telling us about your product, 
hop on over. I'll put the I'll put the link in. I didn't do that. Did I put the link in? Uh, I, I think did. you did, but you're in trouble. Mina said you said a potty word. I said a potty <laughs> word. Uh oh, potty word. Sorry. Yeah. Right. I'm a pot it's past three o'clock, right? I can swear. Yeah. So yeah. laptopping.com <laughs> is is the baby of Amazon and QVC. They connected and their baby is called blabshopping.com. So come in. I love it. Tell us about your product or service. You can meet my mother if she connects this this week. And um, you can tell us about your product or service. So peace. Thank you guys so much for having me. Awesome. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Sandra. Sandra, Sandra yeah. I just bought blabonthebeach.com. So we need to collaborate now and find out what we do with it. <laughs> love well, it. Dot com. Oh my gosh. See, I own so many URLs. That could be a whole platform. Yeah, my know, daughter's like, so all right, you guys. Sandra, Go, Daddy. So right. here today. Thank see you, later. Sandra. We'll see you guys next week, 2 30 Eastern Time. We're always here on Blab. Um, next week, look at for Karen Yankovich um, and subscribe so you'll automatically be notified. And we'll see you then. Bye. Bye, guys. Thanks for joining us today on our Blab series, Get Seen, Be Heard. If you've missed any episodes, you can always find us at www.getseenbeheardtv.com backslash YouTube. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll always be notified when we upload a new episode. We work together with clients, helping them combine social media and PR to get more customers and grow their business. If that sounds like something you'd like to learn more about, visit us at www.soartoprofit.com. We have regular workshops where we combine our expertise and show you how to use social media and publicity to get seen and be heard. See you next week.